Veronication. It's day 81. 81. We're entering into new territory. Well, we haven't been in the 80s. Well, yesterday we were in the 80s. Yeah. Well, we're still, I would still say we're on the front end. We are on the front end of the 80s, 81. Yeah. Um, we should play some 80s music during this. I just oh. thought of that. What's your favorite 80s music song? Who are probably living on a prayer. I think that's in the 80s. It might be 90s. It might be 70s, but. Who's really gonna Whoa! Live on a prayer. Do you know what Tucker says? I'm Tucker says pop. Lincoln on a bear. Lincoln on a bear. Maybe that's he does. tomorrow. Yeah. Alright, Andrew, we need to get started. Okay, so let's see. Today we are talking about faith. Ooh. And I'm curious as we get started, what are some things that you you put your faith in every day. I'm sure there's things like around your house. Every so things, single... Like, every day you put your faith in. Day. Well, starting off my alarm clock. Oh. How so? Well, I set it the night before, and I believe that it's going to go off in the morning and wake me up. So... I have faith that it's going to... Okay, I like that, I like that. Yeah. What about you? What's something... Well, fun fact. Every day, yeah. at some point in the day, Corey Jones, I know it's going to be hard to believe. The Corey Jones? I sit down. Okay. In a chair. And you believe that that chair is going to hold you up? Yes. I, I don't go like this and go like, oh, I don't know. I just plop down because I'm a normal human being. And I trust that that chair is going to hold me up. Um, there's no second guessing it. It's just, it's a chair. It's what a chair does. Yeah. Um, faucet. I go up there and I'm like... And I believe that that water's gonna come out of there. Why don't you call it a spigot? Um, I didn't grow up calling it a spigot. Okay, it's just curious. So you believe that it's gonna come out when you turn it on? Yeah, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Now, do you ever have that second guess of somebody maybe put a rubber band around the spray nozzle and you do it a little slow? Yeah, I'm usually the guy that does that. <laughs> I believe it. Do we have one in the staff kitchen that could be a fun thing that we could? I don't think that there is a spray nozzle. Alright, um, so let's see. You get up, you brush your teeth, you... Oh, that's a good one. You, you trust that your toothbrush is going to work when you put it in your mouth. Yeah, not that it's going to choke you or something yeah. crazy like that. You, you Simple, but... get some coffee, um, and you drive in a car, or you go to work. Man, there's like a lot of things that you're that trusting we... along the way. Um, and it, I want to make sure that they understand this definition of faith. Okay. So why don't you say it and we'll repeat it after. Okay. Faith, faith is trusting. It's trusting. In what you can't see. In what you can't, can't see. Make sure you got that. Be can't. Can't. <laughs> because. Because. Of what you. I was going to try something. Because of what you can see. I was try see. something. Because of what you can see. Yeah. Because of what you can't. So faith is. So faith is. Trusting in what you can't see. Trusting in what you can't see. Because of what you because can't see. Because of what you can't see. Thank you, Corey. I think we got it. Yeah. Um, that was fun. So be putting your faith in the right things. Like uh, Jesus. Yeah. God's word. Um, there's a lot of very important things that you put your faith in. I can see that. And chairs. Okay. Couches. Couches. Uh, wow, fun. Outdoor lawn have chairs. You, have you seen, like, uh, where they like, wrap the office chair and it's not really there? But you think it's there and they sit down in it. Put their faith in it, but it's not it's there. It's not there. It's just wrapping paper. There's a lot of good office oh, pranks yeah. that you can do. I might have to start filming Andrew in a minute. No. Good idea? No. All right. Well, today we'll continue talking about this faith, and we have a video called Live Loud. Um, it's a good example of faith in action. It's something that we want to make sure that we are understanding. So let's dive into that video, and then after that, Andrew, you said you're going to make a game. I have a game for Corey. Who likes potato chips? I put chips? my faith in him actually making the game, and he came through. Good job. Yes. Because you've been faithful in the past. I will say that it involves potato chips. Potato chips. Yeah. Like, is this an eating game? Am I going to get sick? No. Oh. I think it'll be fun then. I but you can play along with me. Potato chips are a faithful snack. They're always... It's a stretch, but... It's a stretch. <laughs> What's your favorite? Oh, it depends. Right now, Cheetos. The Puffs. Cheeto Puffs. But I love some Doritos. 
voodoo or salt and vinegar. Both are good too. Ooh, salt and vinegar is good. All right, let's dive into this video. What do you believe in? You believe I can catch a ball because you just saw me do it. You believe your dog is shedding his winter coat because you can see all the fur that your dad makes you clean up. You believe the floor is solid because you haven't fallen through it yet. Some people say seeing is believing, but Faith says use what you can see to believe in what you can't see. You can't see the wind. But on those wild, stormy evenings, you can see what it does. Whew. You can't see what's happening inside your stomach without an x-ray machine. But you believe that this can be fixed by this. You can't see your parents' love, but you can see the way your mom cuts your sandwich just the way you like it. And how dad drives you to soccer four times a week. And no, you can't see God with your physical eyes, but you can see him in everything he's created. You can see his love in the kid who's kind to you on the bus and the drive through lady who smiles and gives you extra fries. Most of all, you can see who God is in Jesus and the eyewitness accounts written down by his best friends. When you trust, even when it's hard to see, when you live a life based on faith in who God is and how he tells us to love, others can see God at work in you. That's why faith is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. Corey, yeah. I am <laughs> here, here with you in your office and I'm trying to get Doritos out, but I'm holding with, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Corey. So, this next game is all about potato chips. It's one of them. everybody's favorite snacks. Okay. So, I don't want to see how. No, you need to just talk. I can't understand you. No chips until you're done. But I want some chips, Corey. Okay. This game is to see how well you know your chips. I bet Corona Keisha knows their chips better than you do. You're eating my chips, Corey. What? Play this game. Potato chip trivia. It's a cute little dish. What flavor was first put on chips? Barbecue, sour cream, and onion, salt, vinegar, cheddar, and sour cream. Hmm, this is a tough one. What do you guys think? I'm gonna go with uh, barbecue. Yes, I got my first one right. Oh boy, what was the most popular potato chip flavor in America? What's the most popular? Sour cream and onion, barbecue, salt and vinegar, plain. People are weird. I think I'm gonna go with plain. Two out of two. No, I might only get two right, but I'm on to a good start. On average, how many pounds of chips does one person in America eat per year? pounds of chips um i'm gonna go with 6.6 .6. yes three out of three. Oh boy on average how many pounds of chips does america consume every year well 3.3 .3 times a lot um i'm gonna go with b 900 million oh twice that amount 18.5 I missed my first one. In the last 50 years, there have been over how many different Dorito flavors? Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm gonna go with 100, two flavors a year. Got it, four out of five, still strong. The earliest known potato chip recipe is found in William Kershaw's cookbook. What year was it found? 1899. Oh, missed it. Too much pressure. I'm a slow reader. How many gallons of milk does it take a year's worth of Cheetos in North America? Make a year for gallons. Uh, 
Cheetos, 20 million. That's a lot of milk. 11 million. Oh, I'm in a losing pattern. Before Cheetos used Chester Cheetah as a mascot, the company was referred to by what animal? Cheeto animal, a Cheeto uh, seagull. Mouse. Ugh. Andrew, you're, you're stumping me left and right. Making 2,500 pounds of potato chips requires how many pounds of potatoes? Um, three pounds for every pound? Three. Yeah, I'm going with that. C. D, four pounds for every pound. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. About how many pounds of potato chips are eaten during the Super Bowl? Oh man, that's a lot of chips. Can I just guess it though? Uh, C, 70 million? No, I can't. 28 million. And that was the end of the game. Man, I, I started pretty strong, but then that just became too much math or too much reading or just too much guessing, I guess. I hope that you did good though. Um, if you beat me, do this. Ask your parents. But go celebrate with some chips. Maybe you get some of the barbecue chips or my favorite, some salt and vinegar or voodoo chips. Those are pretty good too. Um, celebrate with some chips. If you lost, if I beat you, then um, I might just celebrate with potatoes because I like potatoes a lot more than potato chips. So I'm going to go find some potatoes because I bet I beat at least somebody. Uh, we will see you tomorrow. Thank you for playing and uh, I hope you have a great day. Bye.